one minute until we get to this console. We're gonna try to bust out a freestyle. Finish the day on a really high note. We consulting every day. We do it with the maid. Hey, we out here, you already know. We be passing Haiti to Melon, then we gonna hit the floor. We on the console today. <laughs> it's a feeling. And you just need to feel the feeling. Looking for external things, but when it really comes down to it, whatever that is, it's gonna give us a feeling. It's just a feeling. What's up guys we're here at the shop and uh, I'm just kind of wrapping up my day you know I'm here at the whiteboard plants to propagate you know Gallardia pigeon pea eight pot mint African potato mint stunner in the garden the Mexican sunflower classic Jack actually behind the camera just dropped off the package let's see what we got bam, 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 bam. <laughs> laminated pouches <laughs> Now we can laminate our insurance cards. So glamorous, what we do behind the scenes here. Hey, and then look at this guy. I got this yesterday. I definitely was not inconspicuous checking this thing out. I was like, I was like this is what I was doing next to the grocery aisle. Okay, is this, is this? <laughs> Dude, this thing's massive. It's basically for us to jam out in the living room with uh, vocals. The shorter the celebration time, the more likely the hood of success of the moment. Dude, you celebrate, you enjoy, you appreciate what you did and what's going on, and then you move on to the next, you know? I can't harp on the celebration. <laughs> I like to have tacos at five over here at, at this local spot, so let's, let's check it out. What's up guys, so we just got to the Farmhouse Cafe. My goals here are to close out my day and figure out what, what we did great, and then think about uh, what we could do for tomorrow for my team so we're prepared. Preparation and execution, let's get it. Sometimes I get here and there's like 25 messages. It's insane, I'm just like, oh my God. And I just go focus mode and give people attention because communication is important, I found. So I don't look at it as a much of a curse as a blessing. It is, you know, beautiful feedback loops with clients and loved ones. So this is where I do those things. It's my peaceful place. So I'm glad we're capturing it. They got hydroponic set up. So they have a grower, I haven't met him, but they basically grow all their greens for their salads, which is the model, man. How amazing is that? But it was bumping in uh, winter time, so that's the time to kind of show it. But they're dope, everyone's so sweet out here. Cool, we just pulled up. We're about to get into it. Always got my tape measure. Look how beautiful it is here. So I just spoke with the client. She's gonna be out here soon and uh, see what she wants to do. There's definitely space for a food forest. Hey, 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 how you doing? Nice how to you meet doing? You. Taylor, Susan, Susan. Nice I appreciate it. Susan. Thanks for having me. And what was your name? Roderick. Roderick, cool. Yeah, thanks for having me out. What would you prefer? I mean, here would be easier access. Right. I talk about that proximity, you know, right. is power. Right. So it's like, you don't want to walk a quarter mile to get cilantro. Right, for your... exactly. So... Are you thinking veggie garden and yes. and fruit trees yes. or just? Uh -huh. Cool. Both, yeah. 
Like, what do you guys like? And Mangoes. Bananas. Bananas. We like tropical fruit. Avocados, Avocados are great. Lemon. Awesome. You know, things that you would use every day. Yeah, mangoes do great. And it might be something like that is more of like further away from the house. It's okay because it doesn't take as much, you know, maintenance and harvesting. You know, it's like once a year you'll go out there like for a couple weeks. Yeah, we do. Okay, There's cool. lions next door. Did you hear that? Yeah. I saw, yeah, I've heard, I've heard, I've heard of these lions. No way, yeah, it's trippy. That's really wild. <laughs> How do you guys sleep at night? Yeah, it's, sometimes it's intense when the wolves start howling. Yeah, there's wolves too. What kind of medicinal mushrooms grow well? That's a great question. There's this reishi mushroom that grows I love well. Reishi. Yeah, it grows well. well out here. It does. Oh, wow. We could do it. It's just I think it comes with it grows onto the palm trees. Mm -hmm and kills the palm trees, like that fungus. I would say starting in ground is a good way to like, you know, get your feet wet. This is an edible bush, Simpson Stopper. Yeah, when they turn blue, they're super sweet. Okay. You yeah, just really eat the sweet. pulp, you just... but you could have a shade garden here. Yeah, what would you grow in a shade garden? Ginger. Yeah, we could do spinach and kale and everything. Okay. And ginger and turmeric. Mulberries grow the best if you want a berry. You could experiment, you know, like I have a client, we were down at her place in Parkland and she was doing garlic and you can't really do that in Florida, they say, but people do it, you know? Yeah, I think that's a great starting point. Four large beds and they're modular so we could totally build on them one day. We could do like a stone walkway in the middle so it's pretty. And then we could do some fruit trees scattered where it makes sense for you. Okay, cool. I mean, how much produce would you get? Good question, and it depends on what you grow. Salad greens, you can get from October, mid-October, till May, yeah, maybe June if you're lucky. We seed it, we seed the greens, so it's really okay. pretty thick. Like, instead of doing a plant every couple feet, and then it bolts and goes to seed, you know, we kind of go and do a nice little row for you. Okay. So you come and get just a big old buffet harvest. Okay. And it regenerates in like a week or two. It's cool, we send you an email, we're like, hey, like the, this is ready, look for that. And then you could tell them, hey, bring this, so when you're, we're gonna harvest our carrots at the end of this month, like, can you bring whatever, sweet potatoes. Or, okay. I think that I like to do them like this, with the sun. Yeah. For sure. Okay. Yeah, I'll give you guys plants, it's all good. <laughs> if we do a garden, you guys got all the plants. Cool. I do like sweet potato cover crops and then like nitrogen fixing stuff like to get the soil ready for the next season because you could do like whole beds of carrots and stuff and store it or winter's really where it goes off a seedling in the wild takes like eight years to fruit and you don't even know what it'll be because it'll be it's like a kid from that tree the lollipop mango you know what I mean so it's a totally different thing but it might be close but you don't know just like humans right but instead, if you take that seedling when it starts to grow and you snip, you behead it, you snip it, and then you mend, you, it's called grafting, yeah. So you mend it to the rootstock and it thinks you take like an old growth tree, a really good variety, but it has to be a cutting from that tree. And then from there on out, it'll think it's already old and start to fruit in a year or two. So those are the fruit trees that we'll bring. Like at avocado, you'll see the graft and we'll bring like a good one that will do well. Yeah, we get all organic. We don't use GMO. I want it to be super custom so you come, it's like everything you love, you know? And some stuff definitely has like, <laughs> thinking there's a line behind me. <laughs> Jumanji out here. But I like to bring the stuff that's like, you're gonna get it, 85 to 95% chance. Just get all the stuff, which is, you know, carrots, salad greens, radish, beets, like the root crop, cherry tomatoes, and kale. A couple of those plants each you'll have. You won't have to ever buy that for six months. Excited to do this for you guys. Thank you guys for having me. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. All right, cool.